The water generator consists of four main components, the silicone protector, the cap, the generator, and the pressure body. We are only going to wash the body and the cap, and you should never wash either the inside or the outside of the generator. The orange plug is used to protect the membrane from drying and must be removed before use. Once removed, store it safely as it will be needed again in the future, for example, when you travel or not using the device for a long time. After washing, if there is any residual water in the cap, simply tap it gently onto a towel. This helps remove water that may have entered through the holes. Let's identify the parts of the generator. This includes the platinum electrode, and through the small holes, you can see the membrane. This ring holds everything in place, so do not attempt to unscrew it. You don't need to remove this ring even for cleaning. On the unit, you will find the light indicator, a port for USB charging, and the operation button. To assemble the unit, ensure everything is tightly fitted. Next, we activate the membrane using the Oshimita's cleaning solution, or distilled white vinegar. Fill the bottle halfway with the solution, then top it up with warm water until it reaches the indicated line. Close the cap and wait for 30 minutes. Once 30 minutes have passed, press and hold the button until the light comes on. You will begin to see bubbles forming, sometimes both small and large, which is normal and will stabilize over time. Let it run for five minutes. The device will then automatically shut off and emit a beep. If you need to stop the cycle prematurely, press and hold the button to turn off the device. Unscrew the cap to empty the bottle, rinse with warm water, and it's ready for use. The mechanism of the generator involves building pressure inside the chamber. Excess gas escapes through the cap, which contains a pressure valve. The valve is concealed inside the cap and expels through the four holes. It's crucial to ensure that this hole is never submerged in water. Overfilling can increase pressure excessively, potentially causing leaks or damage to the membrane. Always respect the maximum water line. Keeping the cap sealed is vital for building the necessary pressure to achieve higher hydrogen concentrations. It's possible your device may not be fully charged initially. During the 30 minutes while the membrane activates, it's advisable to fully charge the battery with the included charger. Do not use speed chargers, charging stations, or laptop chargers, as they may have different voltages and can harm your device. Do not use the device while charging to avoid damaging the battery. A red blinking light indicates that the battery is completely drained and needs recharging. Watch for the solid red light, which will turn green in two to three hours, signaling that it's time to unplug the device. In summary, wash only the bottle and not the device. Activate the membrane with a mixture of distilled white vinegar and water, wait an hour, run a five minute cycle, then rinse with hot water. This procedure is required only once. You are now ready to go. Fill the bottle with distilled or purified water from a fridge filter and close the cap. Run the device once to reach 3,000 parts per billion of molecular hydrogen, and for a higher concentration of up to 5,000 parts per billion, press the button a second time without opening the cap. Then, unscrew the cap and enjoy the benefits of hydrogen water.